In the previous module, finance was introduced as a tool to help us make decisions, specifically financial decisions. We differentiated between personal financial decisions and business financial decisions. Much of what we will cover in this subject will help with personal financial decisions, but most of the time we will focus on business financial decision making. We begin this module by talking about different kinds of business organisations or firms. There are basically three types of firms, sole traders, partnerships and corporations or companies. A sole trader is a business owned and operated by one person. These businesses don't account for much in total sales revenue but they are the most common type of firm in the world. The advantage of a sole trader is that it is relatively easy and inexpensive to set up. The disadvantages are there is no separation of ownership and control. Separation of ownership and control is a good thing because it enables the firm to raise large amounts of capital from non-controlling investors or shareholders. We'll talk about that as an advantage later on. A sole trader has unlimited liability for the debts of the firm. And the life of a sole trader is limited to the life of the owner. And it is difficult to transfer ownership. Partnership is a business owned and run by more than one person. Partnerships are typically used when the reputation of the firm is based on the reputation of the owners. For example, a law firm, a medical practice or an accounting firm. If these types of firms were set up as companies, then it would be more difficult to rely on the reputation of the owners to instill confidence in the reputation of the firm. The disadvantages of a partnership are similar to the disadvantages of a sole trader. All of the partners are liable for all of the firm's debts. A lender can require any partner to repay all of the firm's debts. In most cases the partnership ends with the death or withdrawal of a partner and a new partnership has to be created, although this can be varied with very large partnerships. corporation is a legal entity that is separate from its owners. It's an entity that can sue or be sued in its own name. Although there aren't as many corporations in the world as there are sole traders, corporations have become the dominant form of business in terms of revenue. The disadvantage of a company is that it is more costly to set up compared to a sole trader or a partnership. But there are a number of advantages. The fact that there is separation of ownership and control means that large amounts of money can be raised from external investors who don't need to take an interest in the running of the organisation to become investors. Owners of the corporation have limited liability for the firm's debts. In most cases, their liability is limited to the unpaid value of their shares and therefore if their shares are fully paid for they have no further liability. The corporation exists indefinitely. Owners can, can leave, can transfer their ownership to other people but it doesn't affect the corporation as an entity. 